All right, next up we have the one and only, <laughs> your groom, Kamal Zakaria. Um, what a hard speech to follow at my own wedding. Um, it's a bit of a bad start, but we'll give it a go. Assalamu alaikum, uh, marhaba, kif halkun, nisulsen, and good day, boys. Um, to our closest family and friends, welcome and thank you for being here. We are so blessed to be surrounded by the people who cheered us on and supported our love journey from the very beginning. And now, as we enter the next chapter together, Dilara and I are so grateful to know that you're all a part of this moment as well. Now, just before I kick things off, I just want to say a thank you to Zef. Um, I just want to thank my brother for being the master of ceremony for my wedding today. Um, you know, sometimes I tell people you're my best friend and it seems a bit odd to say that. I feel like I uh, don't do it justice. You're really like a brother to me. Um, and I do truly love you. And you are like my family. Now, um, Now moving on, Anne and Baba, firstly I'd like to mention how grateful I am to be able to call you both my in-laws. Um, however, truly I know you as Anne and Baba, and for the non-Turkish people in the crowd that means mum and dad. Um, for anyone who knows Anne, Dilara's mum, you know how kind, caring, compassionate she is. Thank you for raising your daughter to have the dignity, courage and endeavour she ha puts into her everyday life. Dilara has told me many stories of her growing up and that the backbone of each, each was the support of you both. And she, has made, and she has made you so proud, I'm sure, and she will continue to do so. And for Baba, thank you for allowing me to have your daughter's hand in marriage, even though I'm not the typical Ertugul Turkish <laughs> groom you were probably expecting. But thank you, Baba. It means a lot. Mama and Baba, it sounds cliche, however, they really are the best parents I could have been blessed with. Words will never be able to do justice for what you mean to me and how much you have done for me, but I'll give it a go. Okay, far up. <laughs> Thank you, Baba, for bringing us to this country, man. Um, you brought us to this country and it has truly created uh, opportunity where sky is the limit for me and all my siblings and uh, thank you for always giving me the best advice and always pushing me, be, pushing me to be the best I can be. You are not only my dad but I can confidently say until best friend Tai, head back man. Now, now I thank you to mama for absolutely everything you do for me. You are truly the strongest woman I know. Being able to raise five kids like us mustn't have been easy. <laughs> but I'd say you've done a pretty good job, mashallah. Also, a special mention to the food that you've been putting on my plate for the last 24 years. <laughs> Wallah, it's truly something amazing. And I don't think I'm being biased at this point. It's really, it's really special. <laughs> Um, the support you have both provided me with is a support I cannot get anywhere else and I'm truly grateful for that. Um, Mama and Baba, you must be so proud that you are finally marrying off your last of five children. <laughs> and as me and my siblings all know, as Mama likes to say, her holiday now begins. <laughs> yeah. To my sisters, uh, Nada, Hanan and Rasha, where do I start? You cannot get three more dynamic personalities <laughs> living under one roof. And growing up it has been an absolute blessing and it's definitely prepared me to expect the unexpected. <laughs> In all seriousness, having three beautiful and strong sisters has unconsciously taught me and trained me to be more considerate and patient. You guys showed me every day the commitment and determination you put into everything that you do <clears throat> and have shaped me to be the person I am today more than any of you can realize. My three older sisters, Nada, Hanan and Rasha, are a perfect blend of sugar, spice and everything nice. 
And the crazy thing is that the qualities I love most about my wife, Dilara, are those that you three showed me first. Nada, Dilara has your charisma and confidence. Hanan, she has your generosity and selflessness. And Rasha, Dilara has your strength and sensitivity. <laughs> all in all, I feel like having you three ladies as my older sisters has well equipped me to be an understanding and compassionate partner to my now wife, Dilara, and for that, I truly love all of you girls. Love you. Now to my brother, Ghassan. Ghassan, whilst you have contributed to my questionable taste in music, <laughs> my quirky and quite out there sense of humour, and my unhealthy addiction to FIFA over the years, <laughs> you have also, believe it or not, had a huge positive impact on, my, uh, uh, on, on me as a man. Growing up, you were always my number one. I was always looking up to you and seeking validation to if I was doing things right or if I was cool enough like you. <laughs> Honestly, looking back, I can't believe how close we were given the eight year age gap. It's actually crazy to me. But my brother Ghassan used to let me go out with him and his friends. Yes, he used to let the little ball shaped bright red haired <laughs> kid go out with him and his mates. I don't know how you were not embarrassed to take me out, but I, I really do appreciate it, man. And I, I remember those days. I love you guys. Cliche again, but I wouldn't want to have any other older brother other than you. I appreciate it, man. <laughs> now to my Delara. You have worked so hard and put so much effort into making today possible. She has organized and arranged things that I would have never even considered. She has gone into so much detail and really has thought about everything, mashallah. I've been so amazed watching you plan this wedding. Your organization skills have overwhelmed me and I already knew you liked being organized so it was truly something to see. You've done an amazing job Habibti and I think I can speak on behalf of everyone here today when I say we want you to enjoy this day without any worries that you may have had or do have today. I feel so lucky. I feel so lucky to have found a bride that not only has the same sense of humor as me, but is so beautiful and kind. You have a gorgeous smile, and seeing that smile any time of the day puts a smile on my face. I don't always make the right decisions in life, <laughs> but one thing I know for sure, marrying you isn't one of them. We've definitely come a long way together, Habibti, and there's been some challenging times, happy times, it's a roller coaster, but I feel we have taught each other so much along the way. No relationship is easy, and there will always be challenges waiting for us. But I can honestly say, with my chest out and with confidence, as long as we always face them together, we're going to be okay, and we can do anything. You are my rock, you are my best friend, my everything, and my one true love. Dilara Jisan Chokmez, I love you so much, Habibti. I cannot wait to spend the rest of my life with you and build our future together. I love you, baby. I love you. Don't cry. Let me know when you're ready. Take your time. Take your time, take your time. It's your wedding. She just needs a moment. We'll all wait for you. No, everyone's a king. It's OK. It's all right. Who else are they going to look at? Look how gorgeous you are. What a king. Okay. Alright guys, I think we see just some technical difficulties. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Alright, next up we have the most beautiful bride, Delara. Let's hear it for her. Hello everyone, so my speech won't be as emotional as Kamala's, but I'll try. Um, so I'd like to welcome and thank everyone for attending our wedding today. We are here today by the will of Allah and we stand here today because he made it possible for Kamal and I to cross paths. 
I'd like to first start off by thanking everyone in this room for making today possible and for witnessing Kamal and I's union. I'd like to say a special thank you to our parents and siblings for, su for supporting us through our journey from the very beginning and having the patience to wait for this day. A special thank you to Aunt Dunya and Amhusupi Supi for accepting and seeing me as their very own daughter and a special thank you to my parents Rasim and Semiha for accepting Kamal and loving him more than me. <laughs> thank you to all my new brothers and sisters Nada, Muhammad, Ghassan, Siham, Hanan, Muhammad, Rasha and Nathan for, for making me feel like a sibling since day one. And thank you to Daddy and Medica for seeing Kamal like your own brother. Finalising our wedding today was a challenge in itself, I must admit. We had a rain scare during the week, showing 90% rain today, but here we are today with amazing and perfect weather. Alhamdulillah. We have wonderful vendors who have made today absolutely magical, so I'd like to say a separate thank you to them. Today we are gathered to celebrate our wedding, our union, that we and many of our family have been anticipating for a long time. But today we also have a new family member, us, member with us, baby Aliana, who's made today extra special. <clears throat> For those of you who know Kamal know how quirky, confident and funny he is. In the time that Kamal and I have been together, I have never witnessed a moment similar to how he introduced himself to me. There are always two sides to a story and today I want to share my view on how we met because there is nothing quite like a quirky introduction. I want to start by saying love comes from any corner at any moment, so unexpectedly. I say this because when I first met Kamal, I thought he was a Christian boy named Christian. <laughs> Long story short, his friends would call him Christian as an inside joke. Kamal never introduced himself to me. He wouldn't talk to me like he would talk to other classmates. He would come next to me to observe anatomical figures, make a comment about it and just leave. Not even a... Not even a, all right, I'm just going to look at the other bodies, just leaves. Now that I know Kamal, I know that this is not his usual behaviour. You know, I would see him talk to other girls, but not me. So I said, said surely this guy wants to know more about Islam. I even told him... <laughs> <You're accusing. laughs> I even told my mum that there was this red-headed Christian boy named Christian... <laughs> always try to talk to me but would never actually talk. <laughs> the following week we had an experimental class where we had to choose one of the two groups to do the study. I went to the computer to log the data. Are you guys ready? <laughs> I put my name in and Kamal followed me to the computer. <clears throat> he, he made some chat about what study I'm choosing, to which I innocently replied. I walked away and he continued to complete his data. That night, I received a friend request from Kamal on Facebook. He never asked for my name, guys, and I didn't give it either. He got it from the data book. <laughs> Kamal, the confident Kamal, was too shy to ask my name that he had to find out some other way. And then I uni friend zoned him for the next six months. And now we're here, getting married. And to be honest, I would not change any of that for the world. Kamal is the most genuine person I've ever met with intentions to always make everyone happy. I've met the most selfless and loving soul who always just wants my happiness. I am forever grateful that we cross paths. Thank you for always putting a smile to my face and bringing me chocolate even when I say I'm dieting. Thank you for always creating the perfect plans and adventures. Thank you for being my YouTube partner. Thank you for always being annoying and thank you for putting up with my eye rolls. I can't wait to spend the rest of our lives together. I can't wait to be watching Man City tonight at 1am <laughs> and I can't wait to always support Man City's wins and the non-existent losses. Yes, I can't wait to be by your side at every milestone of our lives and witness all your successes. I promise to hold you high during your ups and downs. I love you and I can't believe tonight. today is finally here. <laughs>